Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Rice and I teach family and portrait photographers to gain a life of freedom through a thriving photography business. In today's episode, I'm sharing my screen and I'm gonna walk you through a step-by-step -step pick time 101. If you're not familiar with pick time, I'm gonna walk you through the ins and outs of what it looks like, how to use certain things, and I think that it'll be helpful for you, especially if you're thinking about making the switch from a different gallery delivery system like I did. So if you haven't watched last week's video where I talk about why I switched from shoot proof to pick time, go watch that, especially if you're a student of mine and this is confusing. You're like, why are you talking about pick time and not shoot proof? Go watch that video. It'll tell you why, but I'm excited to walk you through and give you a pick time 101 video here for those that are looking at making the switch. Let's jump in. All right, guys, before I share my screen, I wanted to let you know about a free guide that I have just for you guys, and it's all about mini sessions. It's called the 3K Mini Sessions Blueprint. And basically what it is, it's a step-by-step -step guide to walk you through what you need to do to make your first $3,000 on a single set of mini sessions. And when I say a single set, I mean like one date, two to three hours. So if you've never made more than $3,000 on a single set of mini sessions, this guide is for you. So it's completely free. You can download it. The link is in the description and I know it'll be helpful for you. Also wanted to remind you, don't forget to like this video in case you haven't already to help other photographers just like you find this video easier and hit that subscribe button so that you get notified every week when new videos go live. All right, guys, I'm going to take you into my screen and show you the ins and outs of pick time. Let's go. Okay, so if you're like me, I like to see the back end of software before I decide to jump into it. So that's exactly what I wanted to provide in this video. I wanted to kind of walk you through so you can see what does pick time actually look like. Um, I just feel like it's so important to know what your experience will be as the photographer, what your client's experience will be, all of that kind of stuff. So I wanted to, um, you know, share my screen here to kind of walk you through the ins and outs of pick time, which is our new preferred gallery delivery system. So this is my associate team's gallery um, delivery system. And um, obviously in the tabs right here, so this is like your dashboard view. So you can see like a cute little collage of some of your latest sessions. You have a little bit of analytics, um, which is actually really great. Like obviously right now I'm filming this, we haven't had any sales yet um, at the beginning of the year because we haven't like pitched anything, but like in Black Friday and stuff like that, we can see really easily how our sales went. You can view all activity, um, but it's a nice little like overview look at what you know, your galleries are doing right now. So then over here you have where you can search specific galleries or you can like quickly click to um, different galleries. You can see that some are um, darker and some are kind of grayed out because these ones are expired. Um, and then down here we have our menu options. So here you can click over to see all the client galleries for our clients, just privacy. I'm not gonna click over to that, but um, that's where you can see all of them scroll through. Um, we have art galleries, which really is for like artists. We don't use art galleries at all. Um, and then you have sales and automations and settings. So I'll show you settings first and then I'll show you sales and automations. And then I'll show you a back end of like what a gallery looks like. So in settings, this is where you go and set up all of your, you know, your profile. You can go in your brand and style. So like what kind of style do you want your grid to look like? There's so many different options here. Um, tons of options for how you want the grid to look. You can up up to, ugh, I can't even speak, upload your brand logo, your favicon, you can add, you know, all kinds of different social links and stuff like that. You can add, this is where you also add your watermark and Big Time actually has something new called AI watermark protector. And so this helps kind of fight against AI watermark, watermark removal softwares. So apparently I didn't even know those existed, but apparently there's softwares out there that you can like run photos through and it automatically removes the watermark. So this AI watermark protector that PickTime has built in um, basically fights against that, that it will not let your people do that. 
Over here we have pricing, so you can go through and set up several different like pricing pages if you want. Um, we have your store settings, so you can go through and like how are your um, you know taxes handled, how is your shipping handled, all that kind of stuff. Um, we have preferences, so this is where you can set up you know project templates and other things that you want just for all of your um, all of your pick time galleries to be. We have email packages, which you can customize. These are basically um, like canned emails that PickTime sends throughout the process. We have different integrations, which I love about PickTime. So we use this Lightroom integration all the time. That Basically, you can um, export from Lightroom and it'll upload, like create a new gallery with whatever gallery preset you want. It'll upload all the photos straight to PickTime from Lightroom. It saves so much time. Um, there's also some testimonial stuff. We don't use pick time on our website, so this isn't really like helpful. <laughs> but if you do, you can use those. Um, and then there's like storage options to kind of look at. So, so many different settings that you can play with and they're all really easy to understand. Pick time, I think, does a really great job at like going through and um, explaining things and throughout, you know, just to make it easy on you. The other thing we have is sales and automations. And this is one of my favorite parts about pick time um, is that they do have these automations. So they have what's called sales campaigns and then automations. So campaigns are things like Valentine's Day where you can go in and um, basically it's this app that they created that you can go in and add to your shop, um, your shopping cart feature, I guess, that it'll have like um, cute little graphics, a cute um, countdown timer. I mean, it's just driven for conversions. It is so wonderful and so easy to use. Um, so they have, we, we've done, you know, different campaigns. We ended up not doing New Year's, but, um, you know, holiday sale, this was for Black Friday, um, Mother's Day sale, different things like that are super um, easy to use. Um, and then they have automations, which these are, um, basically they help you, um, you know, capture sales throughout. And so there's, a, you know, a combination of different automations that we use and they go really, really well for us. They have tons of like pre-built automations and then I customized a bunch for us to use. Um, you can also see user activity, visitor emails, testimonials, you can view orders, carts, your sales reports, all that kind of stuff in your sales and automations. So it is really beautiful there. Um, the last thing I want to show you here in this video is um, I'm going to show you a gallery, which it's loading. I'll show you from our team retreat. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you from a uh, visitor standpoint. So when your client clicks in, this is what they are seeing. So we have this really pretty cover photo. <laughs> this is my team. <laughs> this is when we are on our team retreat. Kat, my integrator, couldn't come. And so we like FaceTimed her for our team photos. It's great. Um, and then your clients can scroll down and they can see, um, usually for clients, we have like a highlights tab also. I just did it for my full team, but we have the gallery and it is just so pretty to look at. You can click into a photo and see it bigger. I absolutely love it. You can like favorite photos, you can heart them, you can download them, or there's a buy button. Um, and then you can go into the store. Let me remove this so that you can see the actual store. Um, so this is what the shop looks like. It's so beautiful and so easy to use. And so I love that PickTime automatically fills in um, our favorite photos, the ones that we have spent like the most time just naturally looking at or have downloaded or favorited. Um, it puts them into the product mockups. So it's like stuff that we already love. Like obviously I love these photos because we've looked at them a lot. So there's so many different things that your clients can do. Um, if they do get an album, they can design it just, you know, themselves within pick time, which is so wonderful. Um, so there's just so much that I love about it and it's easy to use if they wanted to get, let's say a, um, uh, just like a regular print, 
Okay, so prints, you can click over there. And then there's like a guide. They can see all of this. There's all the different sizes. You can select what images they want to use. It's just very user friendly. So I'm a big fan of PicTime in general and um, excited for you to kind of check it out. So that's like your PicTime 101 overview, what it looks like from your end, what it looks like from the client end. Um, and it's, you know, overall super easy to use. So just wanted to give you that nice overview there.